Hi folks and welcome back to the Star Wars Library, where Star Wars is in print, and guess what? I missed a story. Yeah, way back in our publication order, there was actually a story that I missed, and I cannot believe I missed it. This is actually in uh, 1984, I believe, and so since I don't have a DeLorean, nor do I have any plutonium or a flux capacitor to go back in time and to insert... Uh, this video into that. We're going to go ahead and talk about it here real quick. So pretend we're back in our early days of this show and uh, back in 1984 and we're talking about Star Wars Adventures in Colors and Shapes. This is a uh, adventure and learning fun that came with a cassette and it would teach kids about shapes and colors. Uh, basically, the story is C-3PO and R2-D2 are trying to get this um, device for Han and Chewie, and um, it has to be a, uh, what is it, a red uh, red square. And so, 3 is like, here, no, that's yellow, no, that's a circle, no, that's a trapezoid, you know. Han, it's basically what it is. 3PO tries to get it, Han says no, it, it's back and forth, so it's really nothing too great. Um, it's more story. It takes place um, after Return of the Jedi. Um, but, I mean, it's more story. But, again, it's meant for little kids. Um, my two-year-old son, who's doing Shapes and Colors right now, um, I've shown this to him and read it. And he likes it. Um, I don't think this has taught him much, but, you know, it's fun. I mean, it, it's another story, uh, but it's definitely not essential uh, for you to have this or to read it. But, I mean... It's fun 80s Star Wars goodness, right? So who who doesn't like that? So anyways, let's move on to another thing. Uh, next, back into our current time period in 19, um, 1995, is a comic book series, one of the uh, another early one by Dark Horse, uh, called Rivers of Chaos. It was a four-issue series from Dark Horse Comics. Uh, so this is issue one, issue two, Issue 3, and last but not least, Issue 4. So, basically, um, this storyline here is Princess Leia is helping this rebel group, uh, particularly this re uh, rebel officer or person named uh, Raynolf, and uh, Mora is another uh, individual who are kind of more main characters here, uh, fight off this Imperial group, and uh, it's basically a Rebellion Era story. I believe it is in between episode four and episode five. Um, that's pretty much the story. It's four issues. I don't know if it really needed to be four issues. I'll be honest with you. Uh, to me, this could have been a one shot or maybe even like two issues. I, I don't know. I feel like this was very stretched. Um, so River of Chaos is a very meh story. I'll just say that. It is very meh, bare bones, Nothing really exciting about it. Um, I recently went through it again just to prepare for this, and there really isn't a lot to it. It's not, it's not bad, but it most certainly is not good either. It's just like I said, it, it's met, it's middle of the road. It just sort of exists, which to me I find kind of odd, because this is the early days of Dark Horse, and going through the Star Wars EU publication-wise for these videos. It, it really kind of reminded me, you know, how much good stuff Dark Horse was putting out right, you know, right at the beginning of their time with the with the IP. And it's just interesting that that you put out something like this. And I don't know, it just I mean, the, like the writing is meh, the story is meh, and the art is really not like amazing either or extravagant. Um, I remember looking at like this Stormtrooper on the first issue and just being like, I, I don't know about this. So it's kind of disappointing. Um, I will say this. I've heard, I've seen several comments about these, and, and I'm, I'm prone to agree with it. I do think it's kind of interesting, though, that this early on in Dark Horse's, you know, or even, even just in the early Star Wars publishing, you don't really see it focused on a lot of characters. Yeah, Princess Leia is in this series, and she's she's more of a main character, but, she, but it's not she's used kind of sparingly um in comparison to maybe what she might have been done with in the past it's kind of i think kind of cool and, and risky of dark horse to say hey um we're not going to do focus so much on luke Han, or leia 
um, which a lot of stories, almost all of them, have been doing at this point, with the exception of Tales of the Jedi. And, uh, you know, it's focusing on a big movie character. This is a early example of Dark Horse, and even just, I think, Star Wars publishing in, in general, kind of saying, hey, we're going to focus on um, some other characters. Particularly, we're going to focus on characters, you know, in uh, outside of the Rebellion era. So I, I think that's kind of cool and unique, and I'll give it that. Another comment that I saw is uh, it, was, it was observed that this series was not in the Dark Horse comic companion for Star Wars that was I talked about in my guide video um it was not it was not mentioned in that and I read that comment and I'm like there is no way it, it was missed because they even mentioned the Marvel stuff stuff that they didn't even print Dark Horse and so I'm like they would have put that in there like what would what the heck and sure enough I, I looked at it and it's not there that's kind of interesting but really that's all i can say is like there's some interesting things but that's i mean that's about it it's not that exciting of a story so is is it essential for your expanded universe reading uh no no it's not um honestly if you don't get this it's not going to contribute much like i said i think that it's an interesting glimpse into you know more star wars if you are like me and a completist and just want to know more about the universe it's it's good to have there but are you going to get, you know, miss anything in the greater EU by skipping the, these four issues? No, not really. So kind of a meh video, I guess, is the theme of this. <laughs> the colors and, and this. But uh, um, so that's sometimes how it is here on the Star Wars Library. So folks, thank you for checking out the channel. And I will see you next time with another episode.